are you guys ready for your daily serving of cuteness and maple syrup? Welcome back guys to episode 5 of I hate being in pain so I think I will make a full defense build. Yes, I had to look that up because I still can't remember the full name of the freaking title. But anywho, I'm really looking forward to this week's episode because last week it left us at a cliffhanger with Maple and Sally kind of facing off with the samurai kind of chick that we have seen in the openings. So I believe this episode will finally kind of introduce us to who she is and will she be an ally or will she be a foe? Obviously the opening kind of already told us that but I'm still curious to see how their interaction between them will go as well as the event is still continuing so I'm curious to see how the continuation of the event will follow through. So without further ado let us get into this episode. If you guys want to watch along we start the video in three, two, one, let's go. I want them to have a PvP. I really want a PvP. Ooh! Sally's like, you back off, honey. You back off. I love how Maple's always got like this like very lost and confused look. I was really curious to see how Sally would react because she's a bit more like, I think, sassier. Oh, <gasps> super seed. Oh, this is going to be a speed off. Maple's just like 10 hours later. What just happened? <laughs> you should ride your turtle. It's faster than you. <laughs> I think they, um, I love the introduction of Sarah. I thought that was so adorable. As well as the Kitsune. They were just so adorable. Um, I, I'm just like a sucker for anything that's like fluffy and adorable. Even though the turtle's not fluffy. But still, I really like the addition of Sarah as well as the joke of how, um, it's got more vitality. Oh, not vitality. It's got, is vitality speed? No, it's not vitality. Dexterity. Um, then... Maple does. I thought that was just like a brilliant touch and it makes sense as to why they ride the turtle in the ending. So I do believe the turtle will evolve into a magnificent humongous turtle. So that will be exciting. But that said though, this episode, PvP. So I really hope we get a full on PvP episode um, or just like a fight because I don't think we have seen a full PvP yet. So like we did have that event obviously but like as I mentioned, let's be real, that was more of Maple playing, um, what is it? It was more of her just like killing minions. That's how easy it was. So it wasn't like an actual PvP. So I'm curious to see Sally versus the samurai chick that also seems to be very fast and speedy. So I think that will be a good match for them too. Whereas I think <laughs> Maple is just going to follow along. Hopefully she can catch up. Um, I think that's all I hope for Maple at this point. Defense and spoils of war. Ooh. She she did this. She did this on purpose, obviously. Mirage! Maple caught up. That's all she needed to accomplish. Good job, Maple. Oh my god, I'll be so surprised if she knocked like everyone out. <laughs> I love how we had this intense as like beat going on between Sally and the samurai chick and then the moment Maple comes in you just get like this circus as derpy music. Oh I think they found maybe a hidden dungeon? Because Maple's just filled with luck isn't she? Huh? Huh? Or maybe this is part of the Dungeons event. Make it three people with those ones for the... Oh, damn it, that was too far. Oh, damn! Ooh! 
Oh, that was dark. That was dark. If one person dies, everyone's out. Wow, people actually coordinating? Kasumi. Oh, I like this. It's just like, as I was saying, people actually coordinating in a situation where they need to and won't let their pride and just like arrogance lead them to their stupidity of death. Oh, she's too slow. She can't keep up. Oh. Okay, okay, this has to confirm that Maple has not only vitality, but a shit ton of luck points. She just stumbles into coins. This is so civil. I like it. I mean, I don't think you guys can possibly fight anything stronger than that big bird. I mean, you guys took down the boss that was never meant to go down. It's so, like, everything has to be easy now. Ooh, is it going to be like a gigantic... Oh, oh. Oh, it's a snail. Ooh, that did not look fun. Mm, this is a bit like hide and seek with, I'm assuming, maybe like a time limit? Uh, <laughs> I was just like, what about Maple? <laughs> oh, she's just getting dragged along. <laughs> Guys, could you not give a nicer ride? Oh, how's this situation going to play out? Your plan? Oh, she used like a slashing move to give them the additional bounce they needed. Oh, look at this teamwork, guys. This place is so pretty. Look at the flowers. I want a flower, a glittery flower. Wait, that was it? Oh, that was quick. I guess that was the main focus, I believe, is teamwork. Like, I think that was the more focus point of the dungeon, which was very unique because I like how it wasn't all just about a fighting dungeon. I think it's a weapon for each person. Oh, no, never mind. There's only two coins. People that share loot, thank you. Like, if you are a warrior, do not take my mage book. You don't need that shit. Share the loot. That's it though. This is too nice. If this was a real MMO, like, we would, we would be fighting right now to the death to see who takes the loot. <laughs> Oh, 
olacak ve Oh, this is so sweet. I I think I think this is why I really like Maple's character. I just like the additional of like just a naive character. It just gives a fresh take from like a serious kind of like isekai MMO, like VR MMO kind of situation. So they have 11 silver and one gold. Oh, this song is beautiful. Oh, it looks like we're moving through the event pretty quickly then. I thought we would. I didn't expect kind of like, um... <laughs> a kind of, um... What what would you even call this kind of scenes? Uh, <laughs> like slideshow scenes? Like I honestly wouldn't mind if this dragged out a bit more. I just like seeing Maple and Sally work together during this event. So even if it dragged out for a bit, I don't think I honestly would have minded. Oh no, it's Sally's worst fear of haunted places. She's out. <laughs> She's just getting chased and Maple's just all cool. But yeah, I think it's like Maple's naivety that makes her like OP and just cool at the same time. Like just sending like friend requests, like doesn't mind about the PvP. She's just really cool about it. Did she just build a castle? Oh, is it for Syrup? Oh, new character. They just finished making a sandcastle together. Ooh, what's that? Interesting. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe this would have a really dark turn and she would actually be really OP and she would just PvP both of them. Oh, look at people just adding people left and right. Huh? What in the world does that mean? Something about water, I'm assuming. Tranquil water. Maybe there's a dungeon in the water? Ooh, maybe we'll have something like a bit like Atlantis kind of dungeon going on. Gushing well. Or maybe they can fill that with water. Can syrup make water? I thought that was a poison move though. You gonna fill it with poison? Okay, I guess that worked. <laughs> oh, maybe it didn't work. Oh no, it definitely did work. Oh, geez, no. Another hidden dungeon? 
It's underwater. Oh, that's neat. But maple can't swim. Or are they like kind of covered because they went through like the secret kind of entrance to it? Oh, it looks like it does look like Atlantis in the sense that they've got that kind of bubble that's protecting them. I think so they can breathe. Okay. Oh, that is a big, big Kraken boy. <clears throat> oh, girl. Oh, it looks like it can lose its tentacles. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the tentacles are affected. Oh my god, are you gonna pollute the whole freaking ocean? She's crazy. This is official. Maple is fucking crazy. Did you see her smile? Let's make the pretty sea into point. I don't know how to feel about that one. <laughs> I can't. Oh no, my poo. Oh my god. Where is this place? This must be the tranquil waters. Please don't pollute this area. Maple, please, maple. I'm looking at you, honey. <laughs> Let's not pollute the whole fucking ocean now. Oh my god, the devs. The devs are done. The Flame Emperor. They just decided to ignore Maple. She's out of control, guys. She's become more of a last boss than the last boss itself. Oh my god, that is so true. I love how the devs are just so over it. This is like, let's ignore everything that's Maple and focus on other people. Oh, I like that. That made a lot more sense. I feel like Maple just isn't the biggest fan of um, PvP, but like Celia, let's be real, she's experienced and she's excited. I think she's, oh, she is going to go noob slaying. <gasps> the PvP I wanted! Oh my god, Sally, you are such a savage! Sayonara. Oh. She didn't even break a sweat. Not even a single medal. All that and not even a single medal. Oh, that's so cute. Says Babel doesn't really much have attack. She's just like training them up. I love how the moon has turned red. Oh my gosh, she's gonna get the name of like Blood Queen or something. Oh my god. That was beautiful. 
You only got two? Um, um, Sally, you just took out like a whole campsite. Don't fuck with Sally. Don't fuck with Maple. Just stay, just stay the hell away from there. <laughs> oh, bro, so cute. I just got me the samurai chick again. Are they gonna challenge each other again? Really? <laughs> Maple's just become like the poison queen. Like, Jesus Christ. No, there's three dangerous girls that will kill you. <laughs> I wonder what kind of boss is hiding this. Three girls playing fucking checkers. That's what's behind that poisonous wall. <laughs> I love how they are like, honestly, just flat out hinting that Maple is the last boss. Oh, that is pretty impressive. Did you forget the bit where you polluted the whole ocean? No, that's cool. <laughs> I should. I had a blast. Oh no. Huh? I'm not even surprised, let's be real. Will you be able to talk with the turtle? Okay, now that was something I wasn't expecting. Sorry, don't she say like... Okay, I'm not even gonna bother reading chat because I'll like read it in the comments somewhere because that's too hard. Holy shit, Maple. Okay, I thought um she used like psychic, not psychedelics, which is the movement one. I thought she used um, like psychic to be able to like talk like communicate with her turtle but no she has become a flying fucking fortress and that rains poison she is the new queen she is the new boss of this world like imagine being raided by a one one chick on a fucking flying turtle and she just rains poison on you like what the fuck do you do about that what the actual shits oh my god i'm like okay i'm traumatized i think that is the best word to put it because it's just like maple goes around doing all this with a smile like how boss can you be that I don't think she even realizes what she's doing is what's more terrifying like she kind of just goes around and she's she's just like doing her thing like you know she said like she had a blast she's just having fun she's making friends meeting new people whilst also poisoning the whole entire ocean Sally's out there like absolutely freaking massacring like everyone Sally's definitely going to get a name for herself as well. Like, come on, she took out a whole freaking campsite and I don't think she even broke a sweat and there was so much swagger. Like, she was dodging blades while not even looking at them. Like, she had their back towards them and she still won. Like, how more boss can you be? Like, they honestly need to make a dungeon called Maple Syrup and it's just going to be, like, freaking Sally and Maple sitting there with both their, like, freaking pets and they're gonna be impossible and even the devs i think it's almost been a brilliant touch that they added the devs it's just like funny i don't think i've ever seen like a game where they actually have the devs in like the mmo actually talking about like what's op like actually acknowledging that maple is an issue but at the same time they're just like no let's just ignore it like they're just 
is done. They're so done. And I love that kind of like personality they've given to the devs of giving up on Maple. They're just like, yeah, we're just going to leave her be. Like, she's the last boss of this game. Like, Maple, she, the Flying Fortress is just going to be a vent now. And the whole like gamers are going to have to stop Maple and Sally. So I think that's why Maple being a naive character is what adds like kind of the cherry to the Sunday because it's just like if she had an awareness of just like how OP and scary she could be it just would kind of turn into a typical another kind of like you know VR MMO kind of situation but Maple has no clue like she's genuinely doing this because she's having fun like she just enjoys the game and hence why someone this OP just wants to make friends doesn't want to get into PVPs she's just a sweetie and she still stayed that way no matter how OP she's got and that's why I think I still love Maple's character and Sally obviously is a nice balance to that because she's the one that's more savage and experienced and that's why she went out to do the PVP obviously Maple isn't also that suited for PVP as well but once again just like that really balance and dynamic between the two really stood out there and I just really enjoyed their friendship and I think the samurai chick was a really nice addition as well I think it really just showed like how a I like in that dungeon scenario where teamwork was the core focus they really did work together like I hate it when they drag it out and people don't cooperate because of their like pride and arrogance so I'm glad they didn't add like something stupidly infuriating like that into the anime and it's just nice seeing just like girls be friends? I know that sounds stupid, but I do feel like girls do tend to be portrayed like really bitchily sometimes as though we can never be friends with each other and like I'm not gonna lie we can be hella bitchy and catty but at the same time we do come together like we we can be friends we're not always like catty bitchy people guys so it was honestly really refreshing just to see like a non petty kind of chick in this anime like everyone's just really cool in this anime and I think it shows that you don't need kind of over the top ridiculous characters to make things interesting like this anime is honestly like sweet and I would say it's more like slice of life MMO but every second is really enjoyable so yeah overall I really enjoyed this event I like the introduction of the new character as well I think because they will lead up to how Sally and Maple kind of team up and tackle bigger things because in the opening we can see that they do party up later on the only thing I am a little sad about is I wish I could see Sally's PvP a bit more because I personally really enjoyed the PvP aspects but that said though we always get so many epic fight scenes like it wasn't a major thing I think this episode was honestly the most calm episode we've had so far especially considering maple just like I, i'm sorry i still can't get over the fact that she took down a boss by polluting the whole entire ocean like what's the best way to get rid of a kraken pollution and on that note make sure you guys stay awesome and i'll catch you guys for episode six